ho, ho, hello. It is me, Santa Claus. I'm sitting in for Jameson this week because I have a special treat for all you good little boys and girls. This week is the week leading up to Christmas, the best time of the year, my favorite time. A very busy time, but I took a little bit of time out just for you to talk about some movies. I got a lot of requests all the time asking me, what are your favorite movies, Santa? And I thought that I would spend the next few days letting you know about some Christmas movies I love. I don't think there's anything better than a good Christmas movie. So each and every day leading up to Christmas, I'm gonna put out a little video telling you about the movies that I love so much about this time of year. And today I'm gonna to tell you about a few movies that I love that are movies about my life. Movies about the life of Santa Claus. So the first one I'm gonna tell you about is a little film from 1970 called Santa Claus is Coming to Town. This is the movie that tells you about the origins of how one young little Kris Kringle came to become Santa Claus. It introduces everyone to the, the, the whole uh, universe of what Santa Claus started out as and what he became. It also introduces you to that dreaded Burgermeister. He was so much trouble. And it answers all the questions of how Santa came to be. It's made by Rankin and Bass, and it's just a fun film. Very, very cool. Another film made by Rankin and Bass that came out a few years later dealt with my life, and this one was called The Year Without Santa Claus. This was a movie where Mrs. Claus is retelling the story of the year that I was feeling a little ill and decided I might try to just take that year off from Christmas. What a foolish time that was. But I thought, well, maybe the, everyone doesn't need Christmas every year. They don't need me. And this is uh, the year that Mrs. Claus and my friends Jingle and Jangle uh, joined together to help me realize how important Christmas really is to everyone. And of course, they had to deal with those terrible miser brothers, the heat miser, the cold miser. Oh, they are so troublesome. But thankfully, they were able to convince me that there needs to be Santa Claus each and every year, no matter what's going on in the world, especially this year. Another movie about my life that I really enjoy just came out last year. It's a film called Klaus. And this is, it tells a different kind of story about maybe my origin and uh, reimagines what it's like, what it's like to be Santa Claus. And uh, this simple thing of a young boy, this Jesper, who found Santa Claus, a, a young Claus who is a, just a simple toy maker. And how a simple toy maker spreading joy and spreading his love of toys is able to ignite a Christmas spirit. It's a fun little movie. It's over on Netflix, I believe. And then, of course, there's a film that that just bears my name, Santa Claus the Movie from 1985. This is the movie that tells my story and also the story of my little elf patch and all of the events and the majesty of the North Pole and the beauty of the North Pole. And it is a wonderful film that I hope you check out. All right, those are the movies for today. Watch those if you haven't seen them. Check them out. They're so much fun. And stick around because tomorrow I'm going to have another series of movies for you to watch. And I hope you tune in. Be good. A Merry Christmas to you all.